Question of FIFA? How are you feeling right now? Another win, another GRC um, Well, you know, um, indeed, you know, I, I'm very grateful to, to all the, the voters um, in Haugang, Aljunit and Sengkang for uh, trusting us with their vote. But I'm also very humbled by it and um, I'm not feeling euphoric at all, in fact. Uh, I think there's a lot of work to do uh, and I think we've got to work hard. Uh, we've got to keep our feet grounded and this is something that I'll be repeating to uh, all the winning candidates uh, through the course of um, tomorrow and, and the weeks that come because there'll be a number of things that need to be done. So uh, I expect all the candidates of the Workers' Party who have done well in this uh, election, even those who may not have succeeded in becoming candidates to represent Singapore and Singaporeans, I expect, to keep their, I expect them to keep their feet firmly grounded and remember why they are doing what they are doing. Uh, and if we can move forward in that manner, um, wanting to speak up for Singaporeans in a rational, responsible way, like how a credible opposition should, um, then I think we can move, we can make some progress. Do you think that the voters uh, you know, resonated with the party's key messages throughout the campaign? Uh, well, we'll have to review the campaign more in a more in-depth way, um, but I probably don't want to make any um, additional comments because I haven't looked at uh, the numbers closely yet. And uh, I haven't reflected on also the campaign specifically in a more um, granular fashion. Yeah. So you think Singapore GRC is a new GRC? Would you be able to respond to voters who voted for the WP this time around? Well, I, I'm very grateful for their support. Uh, I'm very, very thankful. Uh, we will walk with them. And as the party leader mentioned, uh, for the party leader for the Senkang team mentioned in her um, um, speech just uh, only a few minutes ago, uh, Humility must define the WP Sengkang team. And uh, they've got a lot of work to do. And uh, we need the support of uh, the community in Sengkang uh, to achieve good outcomes for them, not just in Sengkang, but in Parliament for them as well. Do you plan to have any uh, walkabouts tomorrow to thank voters in the constituencies that you contested? Uh, I believe uh, there is no, uh, no permission has been given by the ELD to have the usual thank you parade on, the, on, a, uh, on a preambulating vehicle. But uh, there have been no specific uh, plans as yet. I think the team are talking. I'll let them decide how they want to uh, thank the voters of Singapore. Mr. Bidam, how yes. big a role do you think that the uh, Jamal's political debate and the Rise Up episode play a part in Sengkang victory? Well, uh, well uh, whatever view I have would be speculative, but I would think, uh, more generally speaking, the uh, desire of the Workers' Party Election Committee to put together a slate of individuals who would represent the party well and who could resonate with the public uh, would explain why uh, uh, that team uh, managed to succeed in Sengkang. Sorry, Mr. Singh, for Aljunit GRC, 60% yes. is the greatest vote share that the WP has seen in all elections so far. So what are your thoughts on this? Uh, again, I am very grateful to the voters in Aljunit. I also know, instead of focusing on the 60%, I would focus on the 40% who didn't vote for us. And my commitment and promise to them is that we will continue to serve um, everyone in Aljunit equally and fairly. So if there's um, a concern you have, an issue you have, uh, please come and talk to us. I think we should um, remember that this election is, uh, is held in actually very difficult times. Uh, I don't think we've felt the full impact of the COVID-19 fallout yet. There are difficult months ahead. And we will have to reach out to everybody if we want to come together as one united people. Uh, Britain, the the PP's vote share fell by almost eight percentage points this time round. What do you think it says about voters' expectations or the, of, of the PP's performance in the last five years? What, what's, yeah. Well, uh, I, I wouldn't uh, go so far as to uh, connect the vote share this time round to the PAP's performance over five years. Uh, like I said, I need to have a look at the results uh, in a more global fashion and I will do that uh, along with the party in the next few days and then we'll have some better idea of uh, what worked for us and what didn't work for us and so forth. But did the results surprise you? 
Uh, well, I, I had made it quite clear that I expected a difficult election, and when I was suggesting to the public that, you know, uh, there's a real risk of a wipeout, uh, I wasn't kidding. So, um, indeed, uh, the result uh, is uh, a pleasant surprise, I would say, for the Workers' Party. But I think over time, the public also have uh, become au fait with our brand of politics, and that's probably what I'm most satisfied about. Uh, it was uh, started from uh, people who came before me. Um, you know, you had individuals, of course, Mr. Lau is the, the name everybody is familiar with, but there were many other people who stood for elections uh, for the Workers' Party from 2011, uh, and they have all played their part. Even though many of them may not have been elected, they've all played their part in building this reputation for the party. And it's the duty of um, the current uh, leadership team uh, to continue that tradition and to make sure that the Workers' Party is a party that is relevant for Singapore and Singaporeans. So, Mr. Singh, 10 seats out of the 93 in Parliament, and some observers have pointed out that this would take the House into uncharted territory. Do you agree with that assessment? Well, uh, I think that number is still far short of the one-third that, uh, that uh, is uh, uh, significant for being able to um, make a position, a strong position on, let's say, constitutional amendment bills, for example. But um, uh, it's still not exactly a quantum leap, if you know what I mean. So I, I think we should still focus on strengthening the party uh, as an organization and uh, speaking up in Parliament intelligently and thoughtfully, uh, such that we actually represent what people are feeling on the ground. Pritam, you said that uh, there's much work to be done in the three constituencies. What are the most immediate things that you'll be doing? Well, uh, obviously for, for, for Aljunit and Haogang, I mean, we've got to start to review our strategic master plan for the next five years. Um, uh, of course, there are the usual things that have to be done. I mean, there are, we, I think we've got close to about $15 million worth of uh, upgrading projects already committed by HDB. We've got to get those off the ground. Uh, then there's also the usual cyclical work that has to be um, uh, undertaken, uh, repainting, re-roofing and stuff like that. And we also want to take advantage to see whether there are certain things that we need to adjust in the community uh, insofar as infrastructure rollout is concerned. That's on the Aljunit and even the Haogang front, I would say. Uh, for Sengkang, of course, it's to raise a new town council. Uh, there's much work to be done there, but I don't want to um, jump the gun on that because I think it's only appropriate that I confer with the Sengkang team to decide how we want to uh, proceed in Sengkang. But uh, as is uh, the case in uh, any um, elections, if there is a change of town council, I mean, the services, the current contractors, I mean, they will still continue to do their work. That, that's the expectation, that they will continue as if nothing has really changed. Uh, there are existing contracts that I enforce and those will continue to run um, and at the appropriate time uh, in accordance with the Town Councils Act we'll have to uh, move forward with uh, a Town Council for Sengkang. Well, are you concerned there might be another difficult transition or handover? Well, um, since 2011, I mean, I think even MND has acknowledged that uh, the Ministry of National Development has acknowledged that uh, uh, there is room for improvement in terms of a handover between town councils. I think certain guidelines have already been introduced and um, I think we will go into those uh, that transition in good faith. But uh, it's a good point. I think the um, experience of 2011 should make us wiser as to how we should manage a handover and we'll keep that in mind. Uh, anyone else? Oh, Mr. Singh, can you just take us through the process of the campaign trail? I mean, in Aljunit GRC, when you were out on the ground, did you expect this result uh, of, of the 60% of the vote share for Aljunit? Well, I mean, I, I've uh, answered questions regarding uh, uh, confidence level, uh, what the voters are, how the voters are likely to vote in previous doorstops. Uh, I, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't want to speculate because uh, elections can turn sometimes uh, when you least expect them to turn. Something may happen in between uh, the campaign and things can change. So I, I'm always a bit circumspect and uh, instead I'd rather focus on what we've done in the past five years and, and bank on that and to remind voters that, look, uh, we're not fly-by-night operators here. I think we're very serious in presenting a, a, a beautiful town to, to, to residents and, and, and to have some plans and strategies to deliver that. And I think the, the, on that note, I'd like to thank um, the town council team 
uh, in Aljunied and Haugang for the last five years in, in running the town council well. I think they've done a good job. We're not perfect. We're definitely not perfect. There's room for improvement. But uh, that's why work starts tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your time. Thank you.